Hi, what is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new launch by Lisa Eldridge. Lisa Eldridge finally launched some skincare items. I got pretty excited because I use skincare every day. I use it in the morning, so the a.m. and the p.m. So for me, I'm a skincare junkie, but you know, skincare is a tricky thing. You got to test it out for a long period of time. I got these products on Tuesday. It's Thursday right now, so I have kind of had some experience with them. And I am able to form a solid first impression opinion for you guys. So let's just get into it. Before I get started, Lisa Eldridge does have her own video or videos on these products where she really goes into the detail on how she formulated them and of course the ingredient list, how she uses them. So I don't want to just repeat everything she says in her videos what I want to do is give you kind of a condensed view a demo for the a.m. and p.m. routine my vision for this video is actually to use the products uh, as skincare routine in the morning put my makeup on spritz the mist because one of the products is a mist over my skin after I applied makeup and then actually take off the makeup again with the cleanser because the cleanser is a three-in-one type of balm where you can also take off your makeup with it and see how well it took off all of my makeup. I hope it's not too confusing for you guys but I have a plan <laughs> that's all you guys need to know and I'm just gonna give you the key points of what I saw in the video what I thought it was interesting to mention in this video the pricing how much you get and I'm gonna of course do a demo. I just washed my hair and it was pretty difficult for me not to wash the face, so I cannot wait to put the cleanser on. I have a little bowl of water, and I also got the third item, which are these Lisa Outer Sima Skin like exfoliating cloths. I got those as well because there was a bundle deal. So I'm just gonna go through all of the products. The products that she launched that I'm gonna be testing out are the Skin Enhancing Treatment Cleanser and the skin and makeup enhancing mist. Both of these products, so the formulation of both these products are owned by Lisa Eldridge and then they went to a like formal lab and got it like approved and tested and yeah she wanted to keep her own name on it. So I respect her as a businesswoman and just as a creative mind. So I'm first going to start with the skin enhancing treatment cleanser. This retails for 52 euros. It has a net weight of 100 milliliters or 3.38 fluid ounces and a 12 month shelf life. Both the tube and the cap of the treatment cleanser is fully recyclable. Worth mentioning that the formula is also made for people with sensitive skin. There's no essential oils in here. There is no fragrance in here. It does have a smell and that's the smell of the natural saponins that are in here. I'll mention a little bit about the saponins because she she mentioned these saponins a lot so I got pretty interested in them and I do want to mention them in this video as well. The formula is cruelty free of course and it is vegan. So let's put this cleanser to the test. The way that she describes to use this is you need a but a blueberry size amount. I think I even overdid it a little bit here, but this is what it looks like. It has kind of the initial texture of honey. Then she starts rubbing it out in her fingers and she says that after 20 seconds of rubbing it out, the consistency should change. And I agree with that. The moment you start rubbing it out, it kind of becomes a little bit more liquidy and a little less of that honey feel. It feels much softer. It doesn't feel as sticky as honey. And this is where kind of that whole treatment, the way she mentions like a facial treatment, comes into play. It's described as a three-in-one product cleanser, a face mask, and a facial massage treatment. So it's a hybrid formula that actually transformed from a balm to an oil to a milk for seamlessly removing even the longest wearing makeup and waterproof SPF for perfectly clean clean and comfortable hydrated skin in one cleanse. So I'm going to be using this as a facial treatment and I'm going to be leaving it on for two minutes. While I'm applying this, let's kind of get through the information regarding the ingredients. First, she mentions the saponins. The saponins are mentioned last here on the ingredient list. The way that she kind of explains what saponins are, they're nature's cleansers. She then combines the saponin with glycerin, which is a product that holds natural water in the skin. Although this product is not mentioned on the website, it is mentioned in the ingredient list as the first product and she briefly mentions it as well in her
her video. This is a difficult word for me, but it says caprylic or capric triglyceride. This is a, an ingredient that she mentioned is derived of coconut oil, but it's refined until it's basically essential fatty acids. So I was a little bit concerned about this, but the way she describes it is basically it's refined to its like fatty acid form. After it was tested in the lab, she did uh, request a clinical trial that she requested to be done at an independent lab and they found out that you can remove makeup with this cleanser. So it doesn't only cleanse the face, but you can remove makeup with this cleanser. You can use it as a mask, which uh, I'm doing right now. So me talking through this video kind of makes this mask kind of sit in. You can kind of facial massage it because it's a nice texture right now. It's sort of grippy, kind of like a facial treatment. The smell, by the way, is very natural. So the saponin smell, I can't really describe it, but it's not offensive. It does have a very natural smell, but there's no added fragrances in this formulation. I'm leaving it on for two minutes to give me kind of like that hydrated result. And 69% of people that tested this product and used it like the way I'm doing right now, actually said that they had to use a little less of their serum and moisturizer once they kind of use it as their massager facial treatment. So I'm hoping that as well for today. To use a blueberry amount, she kind of measured that there's about 200 blueberry amounts in this formulation or in this uh, container. That means you can use it about 200 times because you have to use one blueberry every single time you use this. That's kind of the preferred way to use this. It is a, a mask, but you can use it as a cleanser, but you can also use it as um, you know, I usually remove my makeup with an oil because there's so many uses to it I kind of feel like the 52 euros is sort of justified if it works really well Then I actually don't really mind paying a little bit more if I can actually reduce some of the use of my other product now It's been on for a a little over two minutes so I'm ready to take it off. I'm going to be taking it off with one of the cloths luxuriously gentle cleansing and exfoliating cloth. A dual sided cloth designed to be used with the skin enhancing treatment cleanser. You get two of them in here but since I've already been using the treatment cleanser I have also been already using the cloth as well. So this is one side. The nurturing cushioning soft microfiber side is perfect for full face cleansing and the muslin side is for a deeper cleanse and gentle exfoliation. The microfiber side is hypoallergenic, perfect for those with sensitive skin. I'm gonna dip a little bit in my little warm bath over here and I'm gonna gently take it off. The two cloths retail for 12 euros. There is a bundle right now and that's the one that I purchased. So the cleansers I have in rotation right now are this one, the um, Youth to the People, <laughs> a green tea, spinach, vitamins, superfood cleanser, which is definitely a different type of consistency. Um, it's a little bit more liquidy and more of a gel cleanser, if you ask me. And the other one that I have in rotation is a foam cleanser. Typically, foam cleansers are um, a little bit difficult for a lot of people to use because it can be very stripping to any of the oils in your skin. But foam cleansers usually look very different in real life. They kind of have that milky consistency and they blend out very differently. This one also has some exfoliating properties to it. So you kind of feel the grains in here. Uh, both of these I love, but after I use both of these cleansers, my face feels like it's been stripped. I don't have that stripped feeling using the Lisa Eldridge cleanser. I don't feel like my skin has been stripped. It feels very hydrating and my skin feels very smooth and plump, which is what I like to feel. So, so far, I really, really enjoy this. I also actually put the cleanser on my lips and over my eyes. It's not sensitive to the eye area, so it doesn't like sting my eyes. And you can use this on the lips as a lip treatment as well. So it has a, a multifunctional, you know, use in your routine if you want to incorporate it. Which is why, again, the 52 years that I paid for it, I'm slowly kind of turning around on the price tag. I am going to use a toner after this, a moisturizer, and my SPF. I use SPF every single day. But before I do that, I want to show you guys the skin enhancing 
mist that she has. This is also a multifunctional mist, so I'm gonna use it after I apply my makeup as well, but I wanna use it right now because you can incorporate it into your skincare routine. The can and atomizer from the Makeup Mist are fully recyclable as well, but the cap is currently not recyclable. She talks a little bit less about the mist, but it is a multifunctional, ultra-fine makeup mist infused with skin-loving ingredients. It's made with 98% natural ingredients, and it can be part of your skincare routine, can be used to settle makeup and hydrate makeup throughout the day. Some key ingredients in here are niacinamide, which I love. Niacinamide is uh, what I use to try to kind of combat some of my hyperpigmentation. There's aloe vera in here, which I love because my skin responds really well to aloe vera. And there is a multi-moist CRL, which works to bind water within the skin. In the foundation and in this product as well, there is something called Filmexel, <laughs> Filmonex. Film Mixel. <laughs> um, apparently that's something that is a bipolymer network that forms resistant and flexible mesh on the skin. So basically you should feel kind of a tightening on the skin because of this ingredient. The mist is incredibly fine. So sometimes you have these like long mists that you go into like shh, shh. This one is more of a dainty little mist. You can barely even see it on camera. I don't think you can see it on camera. She mentions it's not like a set, like a proper setting spray like the Charlotte Tilbury one. That one is just, it's much more spread out. It's There's just so much more mist in one go. This isn't like that, so. You have to apply like multiple pumps. Now let's put on my makeup and let's do my hair and then we'll check in at the end of my makeup routine and I'll spray the mist again. I I was thinking about doing a comparison like a wear time on both of these but since she really mentions it's not like a setting spray I'm not going to do the comparison. I'm just going to do my face with this mist all over. the final look I tried to double down on a lot of the makeup so do a cream blush and a powder blush a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer I even doubled down on the eyeshadow because at the end of using the cinnabar palette I decided to also go in with the liquid lyric shadow in the shade Diana and this is kind of like the orange you know look that I <laughs> came up with it was fun to do. I don't usually do my makeup like this. Don't look at my lips too much because it looks a little clownish. But I just wanted to check out before I did my final, you know, taking off of the makeup because I wanted to show you guys what I have on. But I also wanted to set my makeup with this mist. The mist has a very faint smell, also very nice, but you can barely smell anything. Um, it feels very hydrating. It kind of feels like a spa in a little bit of a bottle. The spritz, I do have to get used to a little bit. I feel like I have to get pretty close to my face to get the mist to perform or like get the coverage that I want from the mist. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys everything that was on my face today, what I look like for King's Day, and I'll see you guys in the PM when I'm taking off my face of makeup. Bye guys. Hi guys, so this is gonna be my PM routine. This is what my makeup looks like 
at the end of the day, the only thing I did reapply is my lipstick. I decided to go with Velvet Cinnabar and Cinnabar Lip Liner. I like the Cinnabar palette with the Cinnabar lipstick. I just think it goes and these colors really complement my skin. In my opinion, my skin tone likes warmer colors. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the skin because I did mist it off at the end and it looks plump, it looks hydrated. I don't think it does necessarily make my makeup last longer, maybe a little bit. I think it might just look make it look more dewy. Because of this foundation, this foundation is a little bit more mattifying on my skin. Uh, it gives a very natural and pretty glow. So I just wanted to show you guys what my face looked like and what I looked like at the end of the day before I take off my makeup. Now, of course, you just saw all the products that I used on my face and you saw the demo of my AM routine. And I just wanted to mention that everything will be linked below. Also, my affiliates will be below. So if you are interested in this channel and supporting it, you may use my affiliate links. If you want to support it and just, you know, not buy anything because you're on a low buy, I totally understand. Don't worry. You could also support me by just pressing the like button. This way the algorithm knows to pick up this video and maybe introduce it to other people. You can also hit the subscribe button if you like Lisa Eldridge and you can check out my Lisa Eldridge playlist because I review a lot of Lisa Eldridge and maybe if we're maybe the same skin tone you can use me as your shade buddy or your shade reference. Anyway, let's start with the nighttime routine. I have a headband but it has cat ears. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> I like a lot of Korean beauty so I tend to have these kind of cutesy things. But I'm gonna use a headband for <laughs> for this video. Yeah, excuse me for the cat ears, but personally, I think that they look so cute. <laughs> okay, okay. So, are we ready? Um, so, what I want to do is to remove my makeup with only this cleanser. Again, this is not a like first impressions. I've I used this cleanser now since Tuesday. And Tuesday was the first day that I removed my makeup with it, but I want to demo it and then maybe talk a little bit about um, my findings and just general uh, first impressions and what I like about this product. So I'm going to go in with, again, a blueberry sized amount and I'm going to rub it into my fingers. Once you start rubbing it in, it kind of creates a different texture. It's a little bit more grippy. And what I like about this is you can use this over the eyes and over the lips and it doesn't irritate my skin around that area. First do the cheeks and then I'll get the lips and the eyes. Are you ready? Because I'm about to move on to the eyes. Ugh, this is gonna look crazy on camera, but this is how I basically double cleanse. So I first, I usually go in with an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser, I have both. And then I'll go in with a you know foam cleanser or a gel cleanser to properly get everything off my face but this should eliminate that dual cleanse step and I'm hoping by kind of slowly I'm not putting a lot of pressure but kind of massaging it into the makeup that the oils will break down the makeup especially the mascara Again, this is gonna look crazy because <laughs> I did a full beat today, guys. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while since I've done that. The pressure is light. I'm barely pressing and I'm trying to use my ring finger. I also have a lot in the eyebrow area. So I'm going to massage it into the eyebrows. You know what guys, I think this should be the thumbnail. You can use this as a lip treatment, so I'm really digging into my lips, breaking down all of the makeup. <laughs> okay, now I have my bowl of hot water with me. I usually do this either in the shower or at my sink, but now I wanna show you guys real time how I take off my makeup. I'm gonna use my second cloth. My second cloth has already been used yesterday. That's why one of the sections 
is kind of dirty. So I'm gonna take a clean section that I haven't used yet and I'm just gonna dip my cloth into the water and we're slowly going to take off the makeup. Now you should be able to wash these, machine wash these. It's very soft, the cloth is very soft. My towels are much harsher in comparison. So this is gonna shock you a little bit because it just took off a lot of makeup. So this darker section right over here, that's from today and that is half my face. So this is half my face, all done. And this is the other half. So again, I'm taking a clean section, dipping it into my warm water. Okay, so this is my face, all cleansed. And so far it looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a toner with some cotton pads to see how much is still on my face. I'm gonna be using my Paula's Choice Exfoliating Toner. I love this one, it has 2% BHA in it. And my skin, uh, I really struggle with blackheads, particularly on the nose area, on the chin, and around the cheek area. If I don't tend to the blackheads, they do become active pimples and I can get hyperpigmentation. And my hyperpigmentation just stays forever. So what I'm trying to get with this exfoliating toner, is to see um, if there was any residue left, how much makeup was actually taken up, take it off. And usually when I do my double cleanse, there's always still gonna be a little bit on the, the cotton, but it shouldn't be crazy. Okay, so moment of truth. This was the makeup that was still left on my skin after I used my Paula's Choice Exfoliant salicylic acid um this is less than i usually have when i do a double cleanse there's always a little bit in the nooks and crannies so i i find this incredibly acceptable this is barely anything it's just like maybe some parts something i might have missed or maybe like the area between my nose and my cheek section like just little crevices so it did a really great job in my opinion taking off the makeup in one go again i didn't do a double cleanse i just used the cleanser and now i use the toner after the toning step i'm going to go in with my mist just to hydrate a little bit and to incorporate it into my skincare routine i'm gonna try to do this on a regular basis like on a day-to-day -day basis kind of to see if it does anything in my makeup or in my skincare routine my moisturizer for nighttime i like to use charlotte tilbury's magic cream i finally have the original size and this as a night cream for me really works well because i am oily leaning it's just a little bit too thick of a cream for me uh, underneath makeup I don't like how this wears underneath makeup. I do love how this wears around nighttime as a night cream because I wake up and my, my face feels so supple. <laughs> Full disclosure, I am gonna use Magic Eye Rescue as well for the eyes. Again, going in with that ring finger and just getting into the crevices. I like this eye cream a lot, but I'm very picky with eye creams. I think it's a great eye cream. I just think that you can get similar results uh, for a cheaper price. But as an experience as a whole, if you like Charlotte Hubert products, I actually think that I would recommend this eye cream. Lash serum, I'm putting this in my eyebrows as well. Giso lip oil, I like to put this on before I go to bed. So anyway, this is what my skin looks like in the PM routine. So let's get into the final thoughts of, for example, the cleanser. The cleanser was an interesting one for me. And like I said, I'm a little uncomfortable with the 52 euros um, price tag that this has. I like a lot of about it. They felt like Lisa Eldridge was educating me on something, she was selling me on something, and I was really interested in using this. Like I said, I use skincare on a daily day-to-day -day basis, and I use it twice a day. So I do have a AM routine and a 
p.m. routine and this has a place in both the routines in my opinion so if you're looking for a great cleanser just as a cleansing step this is already a great cleanser it like really wakes you up in like the daytime it doesn't feel tugging on the skin again I'm oily leaning but I would recommend this even to drier skin types because it's it's this very soft it's a very soft cleanse feel, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't feel like it's stripping all of your oils. It feels quite hydrating. If you're someone that likes to wear a mask, I actually think that this is a really nice mask treatment option. I like that you can kind of go over your lips and your eyes without it stinging or, you know, most masks you have to avoid the eye area or the lip area. This one you can get a little bit heavy handed with it. Again, you have about 200 servings in this container. So you can calculate for me, I'm probably gonna run out of this. Technically, it should probably be 100 days, but I can imagine about three months in, uh, I'm gonna reach my end because I'm quite a you know heavy-handed user. I like using cleansers, but I like using masks as well, and I might use it interchangeably. I also really love that you can use this to take off your makeup. I do have, I have a lot of these oil cleansers and balm cleansers. I have two that I love right now, but the idea that you can just replace all of that, you know, masks, cleansers, and your um, balm cleansers with only one product, I actually really enjoy. I've been using this for two days now, and my skin only looks more hydrated. I didn't create any active breakouts, and I am, you know, someone that could get breakouts, and so far, it's really helping my skincare routine. It's it's fitting in with all my other products. It's work, it works well with all the other products that I own. It works well in my skincare routine. So I definitely feel like there's a place for it. And therefore, you know, if you do have the money you're looking into this, I actually think that this is worth it. I think that this under the two that I got, if we're talking mist and cleanser, I actually think this one is a very unique formula and I don't think it's a waste of money. So I actually would recommend it. Then let's go into the mist. The mist to me, I mean, I believe her. <laughs> I, I believe her when I hear things about, you know, what's in here, the filmexel, flamexel. <laughs> I believe the whole tugging situation. Um, and it is hydrating. So when I spray it on my face, it does feel very hydrating and it didn't disturb the makeup. Same goes for this cleanser. There was no pilling or anything going on underneath the makeup. Both of these uh, looked well with under whatever makeup. Uh, other than that, I don't know. To tell you the truth, uh, I I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this. Uh, it's not because I think it's a bad product. I just think that there's a lot of competition out there and competition that is maybe a little bit more cost efficient. And uh, I find this product a little bit less um, unique and a little bit less memorable, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, I. You know, I respect Lisa Eldridge a lot and I would love to just sit here and go like, oh my God, I love it. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit, yeah. It's sort of like, it's true to the claims. It's just not very memorable. It didn't really do much for my skin. Whereas the cleanser, using it as a mask, taking off my makeup, this is really a nice workhorse <laughs> situation going on over here. So I feel much more comfortable recommending that than recommending the mist over something else. For example, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, I absolutely love. That's also not a setting spray, but more of a, you know, a spritz, you know, to make your makeup look just a little bit less cakey. And that's how I probably typically use this one. If I do want to have a solid setting spray that I can depend on, I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury one. So that's why I'm kind of like, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. For the mist, I think I completely space out in talking about how much net weight is in here in the 125 milliliters or 4.22 fluid ounces and the shelf life is 12 months as well. The, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury setting mist has 100 milliliters. So this one actually contains more milliliters than the Charlotte Tilbury one. With that said, I do feel like I definitely had to spritz, 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 spritz a little bit more with the Lisa Eldridge one. Um, you know, it's not a bad mist. Let's just keep it at that. It's not a bad mist. If you're into this allergy and you just want to try it, I don't think it's necessarily a bad purchase. I just think it's a little less memorable than the cleanser, in my opinion. Then let's talk about the cloth. I'll take the one that's like semi-clean-ish because the one I just used is, 
you know, that's just a massacre. I actually really like this. I like a lot about this. For instance, I like that there is a little like, you know, noose here that you can just hang it up in your bathroom, for example. It's just very easy to use. I like that you get two. I believe two of them are 12 euros. Again, I got the bundle. I'll put the prices of the bundle down below. I've always wanted those, you know, circles, halos or whatever to clean your face with. And this is probably, I think, the equivalent of one of the halos, but then in kind of like standard washable form. There's not much to note about these except if you were missing these <laughs> in your collection or you, you were looking into halos or anything. I actually think this is a pretty good find and I have been enjoying this in the past few days. Again, something that was missing and I needed. If you have anything that has this function in your house, you don't need to purchase this. So in short, the Lisa Aldrich cleanser is the one I definitely would recommend if you're looking into a new and kind of exciting product. I think the cleanser is the one for you guys. If you just want to try out all the products, I think you're not going to be disappointed with any of the products that you see here. So that is kind of my final word of it all. I think it did a really great job cleansing. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Were you guys interested in skincare? I know I don't do many skincare reviews, so please let me know if you like this one, if it was helpful in any way. Um, I would like to incorporate a little bit more skincare on my channel. Skincare videos tend to not do as well on my channel, which is unfortunate because I am a skincare junkie. I don't really go into a lot of the formulations. I kind of like the key ingredients and I see how they work for me. That's how I know that squalane, for example, works for me, niacinamide, aloe, Vera. This is kind of like a, a trial by doing situation. I've been testing out skincare since uh, 2016 so definitely been a while and uh, I'm more rigorous in my skincare routine and trying to keep up with my skin changes than I actually am with my makeup routine. So if you do like it, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel like I said if you do like Lisa Eldridge because I do review, I try to review every everything of the brand. I'm kind of just like that. If I like a brand, I'll just dive into the rabbit hole and you can dive in the rabbit hole with me. Check out all my other Lisa Eldridge videos because they're out there. I put them all together in one playlist or check out some of the other videos on my channel because there are a few brands that I love to follow. Lisa Eldridge being one of them. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope this video is not going to be as long as I think it's going to be, but if you made it to the end, thank you. <laughs> I want to wish you guys all a beautiful day. I hope you guys in the Netherlands had a great King's Day. I know I did, and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!